City in the Clouds, Rise of Kerr's Book Two by Daniel Weber is a continuation of the adventurous tale set in the fantastical world of Kerr's. As the second book in the series, it picks up from where the previous book left off, further diving into the political intrigue, power struggles, and the epic journey of its protagonists. Following the tumultuous events of the last book, the story again follows the path of Lysa, a determined young woman who has risen to prominent influence within the city of Kurs through cunning and prowess. Kurs is a city unlike any other, suspended high above the ground amidst the clouds, harnessing the power of advanced steam technology and intricate machinery. It's a hub of innovation and a beacon of progress, but beneath its gleaming exterior lies a web of conflict and oppression. Lysa, now an established figure in the city, navigates the treacherous political landscape while striving for reform and justice. Kurz is ruled by a council of wealthy elite who maintain their grip on power through manipulation of the city's resources and control over the less fortunate. Social stratification is stark, with the lower classes relegated to the fringes of the city, often in dire, poverty-stricken conditions. The central conflict of City in the Clouds revolves around a brewing revolution against the corrupt governance. Discontent simmers among the populace, with various factions vying for change, some through peaceful means, and others through more violent revolution. Lysa aligns herself with the reformists, believing in the possibility of a more equitable society where technology serves all citizens rather than entrenching the power of the few. A new development comes with the discovery of a mysterious energy source, that could revolutionize the city's technology and shift the balance of power. This discovery places Lysa at the heart of a dangerous struggle, as the ruling council, alongside various nefarious groups and influential figures, seeks to control the potent resource. The narrative delves into complex themes of morality, power, and the nature of progress, questioning whether technological advancement inherently leads to societal improvement. Book two highlights the growth of Lysa as a character, showcasing her resilience, intelligence, and strategic acumen. Her relationships with other characters are both a source of strength and vulnerability, as she must discern allies from enemies in a city where allegiances are fluid and betrayal is common. As the plot progresses, Lysa uncovers deeper layers of intrigue, including shadowy plots that extend beyond the city of Kurs itself. The world outside the floating metropolis comes into play, revealing that Kurz is but one piece in a larger geopolitical puzzle. The stakes rise as the ramifications of power shifts within Kurz could have far-reaching consequences for the surrounding lands. The book also provides a deeper look into the underbelly of the city, the plight of the working class, and the stark disparities in living conditions. It explores the ramifications of class struggle and features subplots that include workers' rights, access to technology, and the distribution of wealth. Amidst the political scheming, City in the Clouds doesn't lose sight of its adventure elements. The characters engage in daring escapades, from high-flying pursuits above the clouds to clandestine meetings in the labyrinthine city below. The action is fueled by the unique setting, incorporating steampunk elements such as airships, steam-powered contraptions, and innovative weaponry into the conflicts. The backdrop of Kurz itself is a character in its own right, with vivid descriptions of its towering spires, bustling marketplaces, and vertiginous heights. The sense of wonder and the fear of the depths below are palpable, contributing to the tension and setting the stage for moments of both awe and terror. Personal relationships take on a deeper significance in this installment, with love, friendship, and loyalty tested by the external pressures of the rebellion and power plays. Lysa's connections with her allies, potential love interests, and even her enemies are further explored, adding emotional layers to the narrative. The climax of the book is a culmination of the various story threads, leading to a series of impactful confrontations. Lysa must face the consequences of her choices as she becomes a pivotal figure in the unfolding events. The resolution of the conflict sets the stage for future installments, leaving readers with a sense of both closure and anticipation for what is yet to come. Throughout City in the Clouds, Rise of Kerr's Book Two, Daniel Weber balances the personal growth of characters with the broader social commentary. 
the world of Kurs is developed with intricate detail, offering a rich tapestry of lore and history that supports the present narrative. The book examines the costs of revolution, the nature of leadership, and the perennial struggle between oppression and liberty. In conclusion, the novel serves not only as an engaging fantasy adventure, but also as a thoughtful reflection on society, governance, and the role of technology. Lysa's journey is a mirror to the reader's understanding of authority, resistance, and the pursuit of a fairer world. As Lysa rises to meet the challenges before her, Kurz itself becomes a battleground for the future, a city in the clouds where the destiny of many hangs in the balance. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.